I wanted to do a video about self-care and also seeing self-care from a different perspective when it comes to really taking note of where you are, taking note of what season you're in and then doing what is necessary for you to elevate your mood, elevate your spirit and just take care of those delicate parts of you that may just need a little bit more love. Hey guys, happy new year. So I know it's March, but this is my first video of 2023 hello to all my new subscribers i was pleasantly surprised to see my channel is on an upward trend so i'm very glad about that so i feel as if i'm still in my fourth quarter we get into a new year and so often and um, we can feel like we have to have new year's resolutions we need to do x y and z well for me my new year begins april 1st i am giving myself the first quarter to just reflect and enjoy the fruit of last year. I don't want to get in a cycle of just sowing seeds and never reaping the harvest and enjoying the fruit. So right now I am taking some time out to just enjoy the fruit and to also learn from what worked and also learn from what didn't work. So that's what's happening over here. So as time goes, I will definitely be uploading more videos again. But that aside, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Shandice. I, from London, lived in Georgia for the past, coming up to 10 years. I spent most of February in London. It was so nice to just be home. I am grateful that I got to spend the time I did with my mom and see my dad and my brothers and just be home. But the thing about coming back to the US, as much as I love being home, home here, um, there's a sadness that always follows me in the sense where I feel as if I am constantly celebrating the life that I have while mourning the life that I lost by just not having my family here, like not having them close. It's, it's just really bittersweet for me. So me and my husband got back just over a week ago and I found myself just kind of in a very low mood. I did do some writing. I did do some reading, journaling, praying, all of that but I just felt low. I wanted to do a video about self-care and also seeing self-care from a different perspective when it comes to really taking note of where you are, taking note of what season you're in and then doing what is necessary for you to elevate your mood, elevate your spirit and just take care of those delicate parts of you that may just need a little bit more love. So today I had a me day, in other words, a self-care day. I decided that today I was gonna take some time out for me, I was gonna take care of myself, and I was just going to listen to my needs. Now, like I know some of us can sometimes like, feel as if we can't afford self-care, because sometimes self-care can look so lavish, but I'm here to tell you that self-care is only as expensive as we make it. It doesn't have to be going out and blowing hundreds and thousands on luxury items and things to make ourselves feel like we're taking care of ourselves. Self-care can be as simple as you go into a coffee shop, bringing a book with you, bringing your laptop, writing some words, treating yourself to your favorite coffee, your favorite tea. It's really about starting with just asking yourself, what do I need? So for me, I didn't really have a plan in place. All I knew was that I wanted to spend the day out doing things that I love, but also doing things that I needed to do. So I, I was up by around 8 a.m. this morning, but I didn't get out of the house until I think it was around 10 because the workmen had to come to do something with our um, gutter, like to like add an extension to it. So I didn't get to leave the house till 10, but I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna get upset about that. Cause I wanted to leave by nine, but that's okay. It didn't go to plan. So I left the house around 10. And the first thing I um, decided to do was to get my car washed. And it was so random, but I looked at my car and I was like, my car needs, needs a wash. So I went to get my car washed. I literally just done like one of those like drive through places. I got my car washed. So I started there and then from there, I was like researching tea places because I love tea and I thought I'm gonna try a new tea spot today. So I went to Brooklyn Tea, which is like originally a tea spot in Brooklyn, but they have a new Atlanta location. And let me just tell you, the best decision I could have made, it was 
so good i got the cucumber melon something else i can't remember what the third ingredient is but i will definitely like put it down here or something so i found it it was the cucumber melon green it was so good i even ordered a full tin online like it was so good so i just was feeling good i got my tea i sat in the car for a little bit and just enjoyed it it was just a lovely experience and then i was like okay where do i want to go from here and I mean, because I was in downtown Atlanta, I said, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's because I needed to just get some things for the house, fruits, vegetables and stuff. And I also thought I'm going to also get some new breakfast items because I have been really intentional about having breakfast every day. Like I've been going all out when it comes to breakfast, like from my oatmeal to my smoothies to my fry ups, like I've really just been having some really good breakfasts. But I wanted to treat myself to some more breakfast stuff, but also get some things that I needed for the house. And that's where I also want to say that when it comes to self care, it isn't only about treating yourself. Self care can also be about doing things that you would have had to do anyway, but doing it in a space of gratitude and just enjoyment and just you know, because today is my day, it's a creative day. I was like, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. Yes, I'm going to get the things that I need for the house, but I'm also going to add another layer to it and get a few more breakfast items. So I brought a little bit more enjoyment to my usual Trader Joe's shops. I got some eucalyptus, which I'm going to hang in my shower. So like little things like that, like it's like you can bring joy to the things that you are so used to doing that they may seem mundane, but in reality, they're a luxury and they're a blessing that you can even go to the grocery store and buy food and buy what you need to maintain your health. So that's kind of like the mindset on which I had while doing my Trader Joe's shop. So after Trader Joe's, I went home, unpacked all my shopping. Then I thought to myself, okay, like I want to have a nutritious lunch. I want to have something that's going to make me feel good. And there's this new smoothie place, which is not too far from me, which has been around, I think, for the last four months. So I got myself a pineapple soursop sea moss. Um, I can't remember what else was in it, but that smoothie was so good. And I also got some avocado toast. I have been to the spot one time before. It's called Get Juiced. It's Jamaican owned. And I mean, I'm Jamaican, so you know, I had to get that. It was just, it was just so good. And then from there, I went to get my nails done because my feet were looking a hot mess. Got my nails done, just something very simple. But I was like, you know what? I want to get my nails done. And then from there, I went into this. It was kind of like a creative market. I would say it's called West Side. There's a few locations but I wanted to kind of look around at the furniture and get some ideas for things I want to do to the house and so forth. And then pretty much from there, I went to book an appointment to get my eyebrows threaded because um, that's something that I do once a month. So I booked that for tomorrow and then I came home and I said, what is something that I can do to end my day by doing something that's going to bring me joy and is also going to hopefully bring joy knowledge or wisdom or relief to someone else and i thought i'm going to record this video so that's why i'm here but long story short i really just wanted to say that when it comes to self-care days when it comes to so like i also like to call them like creative days where i just allow myself to just kind of like flow from place to place everything doesn't have to be so structured i literally just want to go with the flow and ask myself what would you want to do next? Because sometimes life can feel like a endless loop where we're constantly doing the same thing over and over again. And sometimes we're not really taking the time out to like ask ourselves, what do we want? So it was almost like I was training my mind to just remember, you can ask yourself what you want and you can make it happen. And it can start off on a smaller scale, but it can then extend into a larger scale. So I'll definitely say I feel so much better than I did. I also feel like it was a reminder for me that life is really as good as you make it. What really made this day so special for me is the ability to just get up and make something happen. And I think that self-care for me means taking the time out to just have an intimate conversation with myself and ask myself, what do you need today? 
right? And then going from there and realizing that it doesn't have to be something extremely glamorous or big for it to be meaningful. Self-care is not reserved solely for those who are spending hundreds or thousands on their maintenance routines and things like that. Like self-care can literally be you asking yourself, what do I need today? How can I take care of myself? How can I better take care of myself? And knowing that that's what I did today and knowing that I feel so much better, I just wanted to share that with you all. And I also just want to encourage you all to ask yourself that question. If you're feeling a little bit depleted or you're feeling as if something's a bit off and you might just need to like rebalance some stuff, right? Start by asking yourself that question. What do I need today? Or set some time aside where you can just do something spontaneous do something fun even if it means just going to a coffee shop or going for a walk whatever that means for you it matters self-care is yours self-care is mine self-care is for everyone so i just hope that you're taking care of yourself and i will see you in my next one bye